everyone. Welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a chicken, rice, and vegetable casserole. Um, and you'll see the ingredients here. I've got some mixed frozen vegetables, peas and carrots, rice. I have a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of celery and my chicken breast. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put just a little bit of oil uh, in the bottom of our casserole dish here and um, certainly whatever I have in the comment section if you want to make double this this is great um, I'm using um, equivalent of two chicken breasts that I've kind of cut up if you have uh, more than that then just double the recipe okay all right so we've got that brush let's get this out of the way and then the next thing I want to do is we're going to go on and we're going to add our, let's add our soups. I'm going to add the soup to this. Now you're going to notice I will put a little bit of, of salt onto the chicken, but not much, honestly, because you have this, these cans of soup, which carry a lot of, certainly they carry a <laughs> a lot of sodium so you're not going to see me putting much because a lot of it is going to be already in there okay um, but i will add pepper to everything okay so let's get these out of the way and i'm going to mix this just a little here and then to this we're going to go on and add some water and again as i said you've got all the measurements in the comment section okay so essentially now if you're not a celery person you know and maybe you're a mushroom person you can actually add cream of mushroom that would do it just as good okay all right so we're going to stir this nicely and to this i'm going to add some more water and then we're going to add and part of the reason for all the water is because of the rice. Now, a couple of things on the rice. I actually pre-cooked my rice because it was long grain rice. But if you have just kind of that instant rice, you don't have to pre-cook it. Just, just put it in just as is. But I did pre-cook mine for that purpose. So I'm going to go in and add my rice to this. And as you know, that's why it's a casserole because... With all of this rice, you know, <laughs> it's going to soak up the, the um, liquids. And we're going to add more liquids to it. And then I like adding some vegetables. And so by doing this, this really does make a complete dish. So you really can just, you know, have this as your entree with your vegetables. And you've got um, some carbs in here. And certainly you can use um, brown rice, whatever your thing is. If you want to use cauliflower rice, guess what? You can use cauliflower rice as well. Okay, let's go on and add. And again, I'm just conscious of the way this is going to soak up. Now, a couple of things that you could do here, again, with the chicken, you can cut the chicken up some more so that you have pieces however you want to do it all right so i'm going to go on let's go in and add some pepper here and then we're going to add some pepper to our chicken a little more pepper so you're just um this comes out to probably about uh, a quarter to a half of a teaspoon and just i'm only actually going to put some salt on the top parts of it okay and now let's just uh let's stir this up a little bit so we get pepper all throughout. So nice, so good. Okay. All right. And then we're just going to lay these chicken, this chicken just into um, our concoction here. Again, you might be saying, hey, that's not a lot of chicken. Add how much ever chicken you would like, okay? <laughs> So this is, I always say, make it your own. I'll, I'll give you the idea and you can say, oh my God, that's not enough. Then add whatever you would like to it. 
All right, so we are good to go. We are now going to, and what's gonna take long here is really just the cooking of the chicken. So we're gonna put this in for, um, I've got the oven preheated at 400, and I'm gonna put it in for an hour and a half, and I'm gonna check it right at an hour and a half just to kind of see how things are progressing, okay? And then we'll come back, we will test it out, see how delicious it is, and I'm hoping that this will be one of those easy dishes, casseroles that you can make. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um, so I kept mine in for actually an hour and a half. That's, that's about all uh, the time it took for me. I wanna lift this up so you can see it because it is a beauty for sure. Um, and so this is what, again, now makes it a casserole. Uh, certainly you can do like a soup like this, but this, this is what makes it a casserole. So we're going to go on and just take a little bit. I want you to see the texture of it. So I'm going to put it on the plate. And again, we've got um, the rice. Now, one thing that I, that I decided to do before I put it in the oven, again, you remember I was kind of talking about the quantity of chicken that I had. So what I did was I took the chicken that you saw and then I cut it up, I diced it up so that it could spread more evenly throughout. So you can do it the same way if you're not using as much chicken. If you have a lot of chicken, you can put it in that way, but I did in fact decide um, to cut it up so that you get a piece of chicken almost in everything that you are um, tasting. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. You know what really makes this come alive? That just those, the cream of chicken, cream of celery. It is just delightful. This is almost like a comfort food, um, I would say. This is delicious. I am sure you're gonna enjoy it. You saw how super easy it was. And again, this could be an entree all unto itself. If you wanna do a side salad, that's perfectly fine as well. All right, I've got to go because I need to finish eating all of this. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my site, please click the little circle with my picture. I come out with a video every other week, simple, delicious, healthier recipe, recipes for people on the go. And if you like this, you think someone could benefit from it, please share, share, share it on your social media sites and certainly like it if you've tried it. I love getting feedback. So once you make it, write back to me, let me know how it turned out and send me a picture even. All right, thanks, bye.